Uh, but, but it is fun to watch guys, you know, while out, try to get to the 50-yard lines off the break, and that's why I thought it was very entertaining to watch Ohio just play. Um, I, I hope Florida can muster some of the aggression that they had last year at this event. Plus, they're going to be used to the elements here in Florida. It's starting to warm up here a little bit. Not humid, though, thank God. Good, yeah, because that's usually a major downer about about this place, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, as you look at you, the field you know, right you, now. You wake up, you take a shower, <laughs> and you step out, and five you, minutes later you're like, man, I really could use another shower. I'm telling you. You know, uh, just if you're tuning in from home right now, you have the Florida Gators on the right-hand side of your screen, and Kennesaw State Owls on your left in the yellow. All right, here we go on the breakout. Right-hand portion of your screen, Florida. Left-hand portion, Kennesaw. And Kennesaw losing a player off the break and trying to break out to the back corner on the snake side of the field. Me and Chris's favorite bunker. <laughs> and he makes it out alive. Florida, Florida <laughs> making the move to the 50 to Riddle, but getting bunkered out right away by Kennesaw State. What a great move by both players. Yeah, nice job. Aggressive moves from both teams. Three bodies dead. Oh, and a major penalty on Kennesaw State Owls. Oh, it's terrible to see that on the first point, Chris. That's going to that's going to do it. That's going to do it for Kennesaw State in the first point. Yeah. You know, both teams coming out looked really good. This this I think this might be a pretty good game right here if they continue to play like that. So Florida puts one up on the board real fast. Definitely helped out as the Owls drawing a penalty immediately. Maybe that's just first game jitters. You know, first game jitters, oh, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna get shot in the chest and just keep shooting until the ref screams in from the sidelines, doing yeah. the hand pump, throwing <laughs> flags into the air, everyone's screaming at you. Yeah. First game jitters. Yeah, I'm just gonna I mean, chalk it up to let's that. Just get, let's just get this out of the way right now. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, but I, I mean, from the just from the breakout point of view, I, I really liked what I saw that first game. I, I think that, uh, you know, it's going to be something. If, it, if they both continue to play like yes. this, it's, it's going to be a good game. Yeah, I thought the breakout was pretty solid. Um, and, you know, this field layout, in case you're just tuning in, the field layout, pretty even on both sides. The snake is, is dominant uh, because you can shoot everyone once you get past the 50-yard line. However, it's hard to make it in there, and you don't really have a back player that's going to be able to support you. So these guys are going to have to get into the snake and really they're by themselves once they get in there. The back player not able to shoot over. Um, the way that the, the, the back bunkers on the snake sides are set up is they're in, they're in a little bit from the sidelines. So they don't have that, that direct mirrored battle down the tape line. And they can't dominate the snake. Now on the Dorito side of the field, lots of bunkers over there. There's lots of, lots of moves that can be made over on the Dorito side of the field. Yeah, you know, and when, like, like what you said, once you get to that fidget Dorito, <clears throat> you need to stop. Wait for your team to catch up with you, mm -hmm. and then uh, continue to push forward from there. You know, on, on the Florida Gators, you know, Irby, Thomas Irby from last year, I, uh, I believe, you know, he played real well last year, mm -hmm. uh, if I remember right. Um, you know, he, I think he got busy in the snake a lot. Uh, you know, Hofstetter, he also played real well. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking, I, I'm, I'm glad a lot of these kids are coming back, you know, and that the, the colleges are supporting what they're doing right now. Yeah, lots of support coming from the colleges for college paintball. It's really good to see. It really helps these guys be able to play this sport. Here we go on the breakout. Kennesaw State, even even breakout for the uh, for the Owls. Cross the field, five bodies left, uh, five bodies alive. Oh, no, four. They lose one off that Dorito side. Kennesaw, two now, getting shot out of that Dorito. So, looks like Florida streaking down that Dorito side. Able to get into the 50-yard line, Dorito. Yeah, you look. Yeah, look for more. Look for more people to die. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Chris. They, they're getting a good breakout, and then they're just falling apart after that. Kennesaw, Kennesaw gets a good breakout, and then they just fall apart. They're getting shot out of their bunkers, and they're letting Florida make these big moves. You know, and, and you know, keeping in mind, they they have that major penalty. They only started with four players. Florida taking full advantage of that. Um, you know, they got they they make the big move from the Dorito corner all the way to the Dorito 50. Um, that's that's a huge move right there. Um, once you get to that spot, if the guys in the snake side of the field aren't looking, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to get chopped up. Yeah, they definitely are going to get chopped up, and I think that that's what's happening. You're basically looking at a situation where they're getting a good breakout, but they're not, I think, the field vision for them may be a little bit off because what's happening is they're not watching those lanes, and they're, they're getting shot out of their bunkers pretty much immediately after that happens, and then also they're not making the moves that Florida's making. They're allowing Florida to get out to those spots, 
And it's not the breakout. They're not losing guys off the break. Maybe one guy so far, but it's that immediate burst afterwards is where they're starting to lose their guys. Right. I mean, I, I, like, the, like, I, I like the breakout, just like you said. Um, but like you said, they're losing it after that. Yeah. All right, so the score is now 2-0 to zero in favor of Florida Gators. All right, we have the third member of our broadcast team, Laura McKeeman. She is down on the sidelines. Let's check it out. This is my first paintball event ever. We're seeing some great teams out here. And actually, I got a chance to check up with the Florida Gators before they went out. And they said they were a little nervous because they felt like they were a little down on their team as far as roster guys. They, they have about eight guys on the roster full time. But they said they were only going to be able to bring about seven here today. So far, coming out with a pretty aggressive start. So that's good to see. Kennesaw State, they said they feel like they've got a good chance in this tournament. They've got a lot of veteran leadership. And actually, their manager is a former player. So he was really excited. Too. All right, so that's Laura McKeeman giving us a little 4-1-1 on, on the Florida Gators. And I'll tell you what, they're impressing me right now. I think their lineup is strong. They're doing what it takes to, uh, to the, you know, paintball, you have that, there's three acts to the paintball game. You have the first act, essentially, is what, what happens is uh, burst, very beginning of the game. You're trying to get as many guys out as far as possible, and you're trying to shoot as many guys as possible. Then the, the, the game slows down a little bit. You react to what's happening, and you're trying to exert your will. And I'll tell you what, right now, that first act is being dominated by Florida. You know, make an aggressive move right there, getting in the snake. You know, that was a great move right there by Kennesaw State. Yeah, definitely able to get into snake two pretty much off the break. But let's see what he can do with it now, Maddie. Let me talk. Oh, and then he just looks right on the ball. That is, that's a rookie mistake right there. What happens a lot of times is you get somebody in a good spot and they're in a really good bunker and everyone's shooting at him. But you got to take a breath when you get in there. You know, Chris, you're a player, I mean, I mean, a billion times you've been in spots that everyone is shooting at you and you made that dynamic move. What, do you, what should you be thinking when you get in there? You know, you, you just need to sit there and, and wait for it to calm down for a second. You know, because sometimes people forget about you. You yes. know, they, they don't forget about you, but they, they just think that you're so suppressed because everybody's shooting at you. They just think that, okay, well, everybody's shooting at him, so I'm not going to stop shooting at him. But when everybody thinks that, then nobody's shooting at you no more, yeah, and you yeah. pop up and you shoot everybody. Exactly. You know, so you just got to calm down a little bit, you know, take your time. Which is really hard to do. That's one of the things that, that the mental composure is so hard. It's so easy to talk about it and be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to be really mentally clear as you're just looking Florida just destroying Kennesaw State. Except for one player left in Snake 1. Three bodies walk off simultaneously for the Owls. You know, and that was a Fidget Dorito move we talked about. That was the same cat on Florida that made the move earlier. Gets that Fidget Dorito. If nobody's looking, just chops him up. Now, the, for Kennesaw State, the guy in Snake 1 could have blew him to pieces. You know, if he just opened his eyes a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and not had tunnel vision, and just shot across the field to Fidget Dorito, he would have blew him to pieces for yeah, sure. Yeah, tunnel vision definitely plays a part, and it's one of those things that it's... Paintball is real simple. It, it it's one of those things that it's it's like it's not like golf at all. But you know how they say golf takes a minute to learn, lifetime to master. Right. Same thing, man. I mean, it's a paintball is a real simple game. We got five guys with guns. They got five guys <laughs> with guns. Let's shoot all of them before they shoot us. Grab a flag and hang it. That's paintball. Very very basic. However, all these little intricacies come into play, and that's really what is the the difference between. You know, your, your average player and your really great player, your, your, your teams that are going to go out and compete, and then your teams that are going to win championships. And, you know, the tunnel vision element really definitely, I think, is one of those things that you constantly fight against as you're building your skill level up. I think that once you get to uh, a certain level of experience, you don't really worry about tunnel vision as much because it just doesn't happen um, as often. But, you know, and that's the tunnel vision is you get focused in at, on one player, but you don't bring all the other variables into your mind to complete that the, the, the on-field equation that you have to be constantly updating. You're just thinking about, okay, I'm, I got a guy in front of me in the snake. I'm just worried about this guy. I need to gunfight this guy. And then all of a sudden, somebody moves and shoots you. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and I see a lot of these guys, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're taking a look down the field. Um, instead of holding their gun up, they're putting their gun down and kind of looking around, and that's when the guy makes the move. You've got to keep your gun up. Even if you're not shooting anybody, just mm -hmm. keep it up because you never know what's going to happen. You know, then you just got to kind of pay attention to the field. They're, they're putting their heads down. They're not yeah. paying attention and to the field. And that's the thing. I mean, honestly, you should have your gun up the majority of the time and, and because you never know. Even if you're talking, you can still shoot a lane and effectively control that lane while you're communicating across field. You know, so it's, but again, it's those little things. It's those little elements that you have to really weave into your skill set. And, um, and right now, Florida is just handling business yeah i mean i i like i like what i'm seeing out of these guys i mean this this is the, where they were last year um 
you know, they play, they're playing real well, and let's just hope they continue right now. I mean, you know, their starting lineup, Bullard, uh, you know, with Irby, Hofstetter, um, Sutton, all those guys, they're, they're all veterans from last year that I remember. They played real well. Um, you know, so I, I definitely look for these. It's the Florida State. I mean, they're, they're, they're Florida Gators. They're, they're right here. They're in their hometown, pretty much. Well, not hometown because they're up north here, but, I mean, they're in Florida. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, the University of Florida, handling business. You know, but Kennesaw, I, I, don't, I don't see them taking this lightly. I think they're coming out harder, too. 50-yard line. Oh, he gets clipped in the pack. Kennesaw State losing their player out of the, out of the snake. You know, that's going to be curtains for these guys right now. I'm, I'm still liking the breakouts by Kennesaw. I really am. You know, I'm, I'm, I just think they just need to, they're, it's their middle game they got to work on. Yeah, they're, the Florida is starting to run away with this here in the first half. Five minutes left to go here. First half of play. I'm Matty Marsh. i got Chris Lasoy up here. We are in Lakeland, Florida, watching the 2011 NCPA College Championships. Again, this year. I'm uh, excited. Yeah, I mean, I, I, love, I really love this event. I do, too. The college guys are they're great sports. They're very intense. Um, but it's kind of that, that mixture of uh, intensity but camaraderie that you see. Uh, and, and that's actually impressive to see because, you know, paintball is pretty uh, rival intense sport and sometimes you, you know guys will, will get carried away but out here it's just such a good vibe all the time and uh, it's really great to see these, these these schools support their teams and really let these guys build up these franchises I, you know that's for sure you know I mean and we don't get very many, very many weekends off you know and to take time out you know having you come down here and and Oliver and you know catfish you know it, 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 it takes it takes a lot to get me to leave the house to begin with. Um, but Do you, you know, leave the club or the house? The, either wherever I end up, <laughs> you know. And Depends on the time of day, really. <laughs> time of morning, whatever. Yes. You know, but coming out here and seeing these guys, mm -hmm. I, I do it. You know, Chris runs a great tournament. Yes, he does. Um, coming to watch, coming watching these guys. You know, after the games, I saw you do it. I do it. You know, we'll go down there. I'll, I'll go talk to the Kennesaw guys. I'll go talk to the you know Northern Houston University guys and mm -hmm. say, hey, look, this is what I saw. You know, if take it or leave it. You know. Um, I, I want to see you guys get better because a lot of these kids appreciate what you do. Yeah. You know, to where sometimes, you know, I'll go to a local field or something, and there's always that one guy that thinks he knows everything, mm -hmm. and you try to tell him, hey, man, well, this is why you can probably get better, and they just, they don't care. So you go out there, you blow their face off about ten times, <laughs> you know, put their ear in their head, yep. you know, and then maybe they'll listen to you, but these kids, they listen off the bat, you know, they respect you, mm -hmm. yes, sir, no, sir, you know, they're all, they're well-educated people, you know, you know, not all, not all of them are nursing students like Tosh.0. But, you know, I mean, some of these guys are really cool. He just got in. He was like, uh, he just got into, uh, there's like 600 applicants yeah. and only 130 were taken. And he got into the nursing school that he really wanted to get into. Good, good, for, good him. for him. Good, good for, for him. him. Yeah, everybody's got to get in touch with their feminine side once in a while. All right, so on the breakout, Kennesaw State. Oh, able to, and a penalty coming. Oh, just when I was going to start speaking well about them, the, the worst happens and the entire snake side of the field gets eliminated because... One of their players got a penalty. Not a good job by the Owls. You know, and Florida State right now shouldn't even be at that snake. He should just go all the way down to the end and just wreck shop. You know, start massaging these guys' heads. Yep. I mean, he, there's nothing stopping him right now. I do not know why he's stopping at that bunker. There's If you're in the snake and there's no one in the snake with you and there's no back guy stopping you, you should be on the other team's side of the field. He should be on the other team's side of the field, other team side of the field shooting everyone in the back right now. Absolutely. You know, and, he, and there's there's Kennesaw going to your favorite bunker. I uh, love that bunker. It's so great. You can just shoot so many people from back there. Absolutely. Yeah, look. That, that, that was, yep, phenomenal. It's a desperation move. Tries to get out to the back corner. I totally understand trying to make that move. Um, I just really hate that bunker. It's terrible. Yeah, it, 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 is, it isn't the best. I mean, I played a lot of back snake bunkers in my day. You used to get the crappiest spots, man. Man, I knew I could handle it. Yeah, you did too. You did handle business, you know. But you're like 25 feet tall. You can see over spots like that. You put a short guy like me back there. I need to stand on top of a, a pot or two to try and see over top of it. Chris, the only time you saw back bunkers is when you were walking the fields for your back guys to try to tell them what to do. Oh, Other than funny. that, you were never in back bunkers. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe occasionally to start out there for a brief. But you were, you would be up in the center 50, getting all crazy, running people around, diving. I'm just not a hair <laughs> flowing in the wind. Hey, you, you can't, you can't buy, you can't buy this. Just this is, matrixing your way out of paintball, out of the way of paintball. This is, this is, you know, you know how how cows like they, they swat the flies off with their ponytail. This is like this gets rid of the paint. When you shoot me Bro. in the back, it's like a little it's the wash <laughs> that washes your car. See, <laughs> I just kind of I turn my head, it just washes everything off. Oh man, I wish I, I had mean, your hair. It's great. <laughs> and, and you know, paint the stuff that's in paint gives my hair such body and good. glue and <laughs> glisten. 
the sun just glistens off my hair when I get shot in the well, hair. Well, whatever it is, it's working. Because <laughs> we're, we're getting, the rest of us are getting older and losing our hair. I don't know. And hey. You're like getting more hair. I, I swear. I, <laughs> you have more hair now than you did when I met you when you were like 23 years old or something. Uh, it's the Indian, I think, you know. Just for the record, I am not Mexican. Catfish really? is Mexican. Catfish is Mexican. Catfish is not Mexican. Okay, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what is catfish? He anyway? is half El Salvadorian and half Filipino. He's Mexican. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, at every for the longest time, my girl, my girl's parents thought I was Mexican for like two years, and I'm like, what? Your, your girl thought you were Mexican? She thought I was Mexican for two years. I'm this, like, I'm Indian. Wait, you're not? No, no. I'm no. Just I, know, I know you're Indian. <laughs> I'm Indian and Irish. It might be Mexican Indian. Then where did the little soya come from? I don't know. Maybe the Mexican Indian in me. I don't know. <laughs> Who really knows at the end of the day? All right. On your screen, Kennesaw State on the breakout. And let's see if they can keep five alive. No, they. I don't know why they're sending someone to that back corner. So one from both teams coming off early here. Four bodies alive for both teams right now. You know, similar breakout. They're in, they're, I think they're mirrored up right now, actually. You know, Kennesaw State making a great move. Look for them to get in the snake here real quick. You know, but Florida's, Florida's going to match their moves. I guarantee it. We're looking at the cross field spread right now. Kennesaw State now opposite side of field. Florida on the Dorito side. Here we come. Move up that Dorito side. And now that you're seeing he's into Dorito 2. you got a player in Dorito 1. Left-hand portion of your screen. Then dead center. That's Dorito 2. Dorito's a number real simple as you progress up the field to the 50-yard line. And here we go on the snake side. Owl's finally getting in there and trying to chop down cross field. You can see that cross field shot. You see that bunker getting hit. You can see it in, in dents as it's getting shot. He's shooting at the wrong guy. There he goes. On the move. Nice job by Florida. Bunkering out. Blair. But here, here's typical field awareness. No, the guy in the snake didn't see that. Yeah, and here just bodies just coming off for the Gators right now. Looks like three bodies alive for Kennesaw and just... Yeah, and there we go. Last player for Florida. And this is what we need to see out of the Owls. Owls finally getting on the board here. Yeah, I, I know. I, I Just by watching them, I know they got it in them. There's no question they got it in them. Um, you know, I, I think that they just need to, you know, fine-tune what they're doing. I, I like their aggressive moves. They got to stop Florida from coming down those Doritos. I mean, that kid's just walking down the field. Yeah, he's totally just walking down the field. And you know what we finally saw out of Kennesaw State is they're able to, they kept bodies alive. They did lose a body very close to off the break. But they were finally able to make those moves. And Florida also dying out of their bunkers. It's definitely going to help you if guys are getting shot out of their bunkers nonstop. Yeah, you know, but I, like, like you talked about before, you know, Kennesaw, they definitely got it in them. You know, just watching them shooting the, shoot the break, um, making their secondary moves, because they were mirrored up. They both lost one in the break. They were mirrored up, you know, but Kennesaw State made the moves first. Mm -hmm. And like you said earlier, if mm -hmm. you make those moves first, you're going to chop them up, and they're not going to be able to move down the field on you. Absolutely. All right, so in case you guys are just tuning in, watching the 2011 NCPA National Championships here in Lakeland, Florida. I'm Maddie Marshall, got Crystal Soy. Also, we have Laura McKinley. She is downstairs and on the sidelines in the pits. She's going to be bringing us that sideline info, uh, talking to teams and getting that 411. And it's, it's very interesting, too, because you need to get that information from these teams because it really breaks down what they're thinking, what they're planning, and, you know, and, and that is so integral to the sport of paintball. And also, it's a very intense sport, and I'm, I'm really interested to see, as we progress through the weekend, what these guys are thinking about, not only how they're playing, but how their opponents are playing as well. And she's hot. Yeah. That's, you're going out on a limb there. You're going to go out on a limb? Yeah, hey, I'm just, I'm trying to be as, you know, just, yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm going on a limb. I'm just saying. <laughs> she's hot, people. I mean, you know, we're up here. She's down there. I want to be down there. You'll be down there soon enough. Okay. No, I'm, she, I'm, we're kicking you out after this game. Perfect. You're too good at this. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you, you make us look good, Maddie. It's all him. This guy right here. Don't tell anybody that. No, no. Just, Keep everybody, it a everybody. It's okay. a secret. Just, you yeah, just, just between us. All no, right. I, I, she's very well spoken too. Actually, yeah, I like that that little interview she gave. She she knows what's up. Yeah. So. Well, it's it's crucial that we get those inf that information from these teams because uh, you know so much changes too as the. You get your initial game plan, and you talk about what you want to do, but we know more than anybody, or as well as anyone else that's been playing this game for a long time, is that, man, you make your game plan, and then that, it just stops after that. It's complete destruction of the game plan sometimes. Yep. And I think we might actually get a sneak peek here. You know, I can see... I, I see... <laughs> I, I love watching the camera guys try to go under the net with their camera. <laughs> that is just awesome. <laughs> 
As if, as if carrying around a camera. There she is. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. See? Waved everyone at home. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, we're up here, you know. Those I'm, are I'm, just, those are some good looks up there, people. Hey. So the, the good looks the good looks we got a great angle from up here. Yes, we do. We have great a great angle. angle. So you know we, we love you down there. Hey, love you guys too. We're all having fun. We're keeping it real. We're all keeping it real. <laughs> so if you're Kennesaw, what are you going to do, man? What, do you, what would you tell them right now? I would you're do in the exactly. Pits. Exactly what they just did. Mm -hmm. Stop getting penalties. Stop getting stop penalties. Stop cheating, man. Yeah. <laughs> or stop getting caught. I don't Either either one. One of the two. One of the two, but not both. If you're going to cheat, don't get caught. Exactly. Stop. You know, I think that they're, um, they just need to do exactly what they're doing. They're, they're playing real well. Uh, their breakouts are, are good, and I, I I definitely think, you know, if they don't let UF run off with this game, I think mm -hmm. that's going to be a game. You know, going down four points, that was infamous all day when I played with them. We we don't, we just give up five points and start playing. Just because, spot the other team. Yeah, just five. spot them five points. Just spot them five off the break. That's exactly what we used to do. Um, and we usually come back on, you know, towards the end. Mm -hmm. You know, but sometimes it's too little too late. Thank God there's two ten-minute halves in this game. Yes. So the score is now 5-1 to one in favor of the University of Florida. And Kennesaw, you've been talking about it. They need to get that aggression back. They need to keep guys alive off the break. Tons of time left in the game. Two minutes and 24 seconds remaining here in the first half. And let's watch the breakout. Watching the Owls on your screen right now. And just two guns up off the break. Able to get that cross field spread. And it looks like they keep five alive. So good job in Florida. Losing two players off the break. So just three bodies left alive for the University of Florida. Five. Shooting those, shooting those good lanes. You know, Kennesaw shooting those good lanes, getting down the snake here. They, they pretty much shot three in the break. Yeah, three bodies dead for Florida. Just two alive right now. And here comes Kennesaw just striping down this snake side of the field, able to get past the 50-yard line. They chew up the Florida player, trying to get any, trying to get up on the Dredel side. And it's just all the owls right now. The owls are just feasting at this point. Oh, and it looks like a penalty on the last Florida player. There's no one left alive to pull. Here comes Kennesaw. This is big for them. You know, once you get that past that three, four-point spread where you're down three or four points, mentally it starts to seep in that, man, maybe we just don't have enough for this, this team uh, as time starts to tick off the clock. However, now we've got ourselves a two-point match. Uh, I'm sorry, we got ourselves a three-point match. It's three. Um, it's five to two with a minute and 31 seconds left. That is, a, there's going to be an entire second half, 10 minutes, and we basically have, you know, we have ourselves a game here, hopefully. Yeah, you know, for Kennesaw State, Haberson, um, I think I'm saying it right. Uh, let me check this real quick. Yeah, Bill Harbison. 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 He, he's the one playing the snake out here, you know. He's, he's getting out there. He's getting to the brick, you mm -hmm. know, making some nice crisp moves. He's the one that got down the snake. Um, the Doritos side really handled business that game. Mm -hmm. You know, they got up in the Doritos. They tried to, you know, Florida tried to make mm -hmm. that big move, and they just didn't make it. Um, you know, coming down, this, coming down the Doritos side, you know, those guys... All right, so <laughs> let's say, okay, so if you're Florida's coach right now, Chris, what would you be telling them? You know, they, they got, I think that, you know, they got to pull up a little bit. They're, again, they, they put two two guys in the back center. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they sent a snake guy in the break. He got, he got shot right out of the gate. I mean, he was pretty much hit 10 steps out of the box. Mm -hmm. You know, so Kennesaw State, that just shows Kennesaw is shooting really good lanes at the center. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to get that? You go outside a lot further. You yes. know, you take different lanes because the lanes are taken right now. They're running right through their right through the lanes that Kennesaw is shooting. Mm -hmm. um, you get, I'm getting a good shot right there of Bill Harb Harbison, I think, um, on your screen. He's their snake player for Kennesaw. Uh, great, he, he's getting out here great. You know, so pay attention to him over the day. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a great snake player. I love seeing great snake players on this field. I love it. And you need to, honestly, to play the snake well, you have to be a good snake player yes. because you do not have a back player. It's going to be tough to get two bodies in there because it's hard to make it out. Tripling up that back or doubling up the back center. And it looks like Kennesaw State losing a player, two players off the break. So three bodies left alive for the big move on the Dorito side for University of Florida to get to the 50-yard line. Just like we talked about, Maddie. you know, what, what is Florida going to do? You need to get outside. Absolutely. What they do, they took both corners in the break and kept everybody in the middle hiding, which is exactly what they should do. Move into the snake. So three bodies left alive, and they are all from the center on over to the snake side. 
And we have a snake battle about to go down right now. Both teams with the player in the snake. You can see it there on your screen. And that's Florida University, or University of Florida, trying to get that cross field shot. Oh, four bodies come off, or three come off for Kennesaw. Just two bodies left alive for them. And you can see, you know, Billy, Billy Harbison in the snake here. You know, this, this battle right here, he could win this game. If he clips this, if, but, you know, at the same time, Florida Gators have a back player in the, in, this, in the death spot. And there's only 30 seconds left to go, so if they need to get going here, not a lot of time left. Ooh, able to barely, barely avoid. That was a nice shot by Florida to come over the top. And then here comes, oh, it's Florida polishing off the last two players. And I don't know if they're going to have enough time. 15 seconds left, he's going to have to run that flag in. I don't think he realizes how much time's left. Yeah, now he does. <laughs> Barely going to be enough time. Well, when, you have, when you have your coach screaming bloody murder on the side of the field, he <laughs> better. Ten seconds! <laughs> <laughs> When he's sitting there screaming bloody murder, I mean, I think he got the idea. Yeah, he didn't get the baritone in the voice. No, you know, you got to go deeper and let it carry. <laughs> Thomas Irby on your screen for Florida Gators. One of the better players I saw from last year. Really yeah. happy to see him out here Irby, again. Irby's solid. Definitely Absolutely. solid. I like uh, Billy Harbinson over here um, for, yeah. for, for uh, Kennesaw. Yeah, I, snake. yeah I, I'd like, I like his style. Um, I think he's, he's an effective player right now. Um, he's taking his time, getting in the brick, you know, not going to the snake in the brick. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like the fastest guy out there. Um, when he's on his knees, he seems to get down here pretty no, quick, though. there is not a rocket ship <laughs> on his back. No, absolutely no. not. I think maybe he's faster on his knees. Possibly. You know. But the thing with this, I like what you were saying earlier about this. There has to be, in order to perform in this particular snake, you're gonna have, you have to be pretty solid because uh, this is not the easiest snake to play. You can get, there's a lot of shots from, you have, a ton of shots cross field yourself but there's a lot of shots on you that can arc in yep. so you got to stay low you got to play smart you do not have a back player you're looking at the snake structure on your screen right now and uh, you, you don't have a back player that is it ha that's in a dominant position and in order to play the snake effectively you have to be smart you have to be aggressive and a lot of times you need help or you need another body in there with them because you're going to be trading out a lot sometimes you know get a guy in front of you it, paintball 101 man if you get a guy in front of you in the snake Go get that guy off the field. That guy cannot live. You can't have somebody in front of you. Now, but this particular field layout, this particular snake, it's not as easy to do that. So that's why we're going to see, you're going to see action go down on the Drito side, but you are going to continue to see a lot of action go down in the snake. But at the same time, like I'm saying, you really need to focus in if you're playing the snake because you don't have a lot of help. Absolutely. You know, and, you know, and the thing is, is that the guy going behind him in the snake mm -hmm. um, doesn't really do anything for him mm -hmm. because he can't stop him from coming on the snake. If he comes to bunker him, he can't stop that either. So mm -hmm. he's, they they got to find a better spot. I think the tower inside is a little better spot. The can, the, I see the cans in the middle. People aren't really playing that that mm -hmm. much. Um, yeah, I think that people are definitely not taking advantage of, of the center of the field like they should be. Yeah, and I love you always bring that up because, <laughs> well, because it's true. It is true. A lot of teams ignore the center of the field, and then they do so at their, at their peril. Because the, the center of the field is one of those things that you always want to have that option available so people are worried about it. You want that other team, you want the opposing team to be worried about the center of the field. Now, on your screen right now, you see uh, top right-hand portion of your screen. That's the 50-yard line A structure. That's what Chris is talking about. And you got those little cakes right behind that. And then you have the two stand-up cans, one yellow, one red, on the inside. Now, those spots are not being played a lot. Normally, typically, the, 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 when teams are walking these fields, you know, they want to go to the Drito side, they want to go to the Snake side, and they want to walk those sides of the field so that they can get the game plans of what's going to go happen. And you're looking at that center structure right there. Now, the rookie mistake is to not pay attention to the center part of the field. It's to, okay, well, we got this awesome plan over here on the Doritos, and we got two guys over there, and we're going to send two guys to the snake. But you need to have that, that plan B um, where you can basically flood bodies in that center, and you keep that. And Chris, you were always good at this, and every team you played on, any time we'd always be like, okay, look, we can't just focus on the sidelines because Chris may run up the center and start shooting everybody. So like, yeah. kind of talk me through... What are you thinking when you're when you're running up to those spots? Well, you know, when, when you're coming up the middle like that, you know, you have to look at the whole field because what you want to see is you want to see, okay, are they going outside? Are they out wide? Mm -hmm. Where are they out wide? Not just on one side of the field, but on both sides of the field. So you've got to really look 
at both sides of the field that you're coming up. Because mm -hmm. once you get there, if you know, hey, they didn't go outside left, I can go to the left side of that A, mm -hmm. I can wrap in the back center, and then just run down the field and start shooting everybody. Absolutely. Um, you know, you really, it, your field awareness has got to be on point. You've got to see what's going on, and you can't, like you said, you can't run down the field and just kind of focus on where you're going because yes. you already know where you're going. Yes. I know I know I'm going to that bunker, so there's no reason for me to look at it. Absolutely. My body will take me there. My yes. head has got to look what's coming in at me. You know who's good at John Richardson's great at that. Yes. Uh, Justin Rabikoff's good at that. You, mm -hmm. if you look at look at all the pictures of the great plate ball players, mm -hmm. they're they're always they're diving in their spots, but their head's always looking down the field. Because you don't necessarily have to stop. You know, you see a lot of people dive in the snake. Mm -hmm. They don't have to sometimes. Yeah. You know, you run, you run to your spot. If you're all heads up, you're like halfway down. If you don't have to jump in, then don't dive. You ride or die till you have to stop. Once you stop, then, then you start figuring out what's going on. And that's a really crucial element, too, because so many people, like, you're going to see this. You watch these guys, and they'll, and they'll have their head down as they're running to that spot. And we'd always say it's like, because, you know, these guys can shoot right and left-handed, and if your eyes are always scanning the field and seeing for possibilities, again, you're taking those variables in, figuring out what I need to do, but if nobody's stopping you, you take as much ground as possible. Right. So like you're saying, you run up to that center, if you shoot a guy off the break, and you shoot a guy running out to one corner, and then you shoot somebody else, like, if you shoot a guy running in the snake off the break, and then you shoot his back guy, well, no one's on that side of the field now, right. and they're not going to be focused there. So if you're able, and that's how you can get those, like, five kill games. Yeah. And it's been done many times. And on top of that, if you're going up to that A and you shoot those two guys, mm -hmm. automatically you know their back center guy is going to think, hey, i got to fill that out. He's not going to think, where did they get shot from? Mm -hmm. That's not what he's thinking. They're just thinking, hey, I lost two guys on that side. Mm -hmm. i got to get out there. And you have free, another free kill. That's three free. Because you sit there, you go to the A, and you're chopping down that side of the field. He's going to get two steps out, and you're going to just blast into pieces. You know, I mean, and that's the fun part. That's, that's, that's the best that's, part. Yeah, that's, that's, that is the best part. It, yeah. makes, it makes me tear up a little when I see that. <laughs> I actually, I, I wet my eyebrows and just kind of tear up, and then I just blow their face off. In case you're, you're, you haven't played and you're watching this, there is just nothing like the innate pleasure of shooting somebody off the break and then shooting his buddy and then just feasting. Getting, just, just getting to run down the field and no, they're not looking at you. <laughs> you get to shoot it from two feet away. It's awesome. It's exciting. All right, so on the breakout here... We are into the second half. Score is 6-2 to two in favor of the University of Florida. You know, new guy in the snake by Kennesaw, Steven Torres. You know, he gets in there, starting to, you know, Kennesaw losing one body in their corner on the Dorito side. Yeah, and look at this. Now, Kennesaw, you're lo actually, you're looking at Florida on your screen right now. That's the back corner on the snake side of the field. Hate that bunker, but he's rolling his gun from there. Looks one from both teams have come off early. So both teams have four bodies alive on the field. You're looking at the cross field spread. Right now, the back players for Florida, that's that back bunker on the snake side of the field. And you can't really do a lot from that bunker. And you see he's rolling his gun down the, down the snake side, but he cannot shoot at the snake player no, from and, that spot. And like you said earlier, there's no reason, well, there's no reason for him to stop. There's no reason for him to stop at snake at the snake one right now. Yeah, and there's two players. Coming off early for Kennesaw from both teams, actually. So three bodies left alive. But look at this. Florida all the way on the 50-yard line right now on the Dorito side of the field. And it doesn't look like Kennesaw State even knows that he's there. You can hear his pit is trying to scream in information and let them know, okay, now the Dorito player has picked it up. The Snake player does not know the 50-yard line Dorito is alive, or is, is in there and alive and shooting inside. You know, and this is a coaching issue right here. There's no reason he should be in that Snake one right now. He should be all the way down the field. There's All nothing them. stopping him. You have to take what they give you. We just talked about this. If you're in Snake 1 and no one's shooting at you, there's no reason you shouldn't be in Snake 2. Oh, they finally shoot that player for Florida out of the 50-yard line Dorito. So now the Owls in really good position right now. They have dominant field position. They're in Snake 2. You're looking at the last two players for Florida Gators right now. Two players stuck in the back bunkers. Uh, now the move into the Snake 1. Big move into Snake 1. Dives in. He's going to try to get... His gun up down this tape line, down the sidelines here. You know, and that, that just makes me so mad to let him see them let him get in the snake. That's just, yeah, you can't let that happen. And he hears that gun rolling on the inside. I do not know. There's nothing. No one is stopping him. This is a perfect highway moment right here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There he goes. He runs out. Nice job. Gets a shot on the pack. Now he has the snake all to himself, but it looks like he's the only player left out. There's a one-on-one -on -one situation right now. 50-yard line snake for Kennesaw, Florida. In Snake One, and it's never be it's never good being in a one-on-one -on -one situation in the Snake. No, but this is not a bad Snake though. You have no. the stand-up cakes um, that it, that make up Snake One. Ooh, looks like he might have got oh. a shot. On a nice job. That was and Lowry. So Lowry number eighteen. 
for Florida. University of Florida able to win that point. Man, that was a that's a really disappointing loss uh, for that particular point for Kennesaw because that was the swing point. You know, I mean, you go now it's seven to two. It could have been three to six. Three point spread, seven minutes and fifteen seconds left would have been way better than this massive five point spread they're looking at right now. That's I I totally blame that on Kennesaw's coach right there. That is that is I mean there is no reason for that guy to be sitting in snake one that whole game. No way. No way. I mean, and, and to let and on top of that, to let him fill the snake, not only did he fill the snake from the corner, he filled it from the corner and ran down the tape. He didn't even go inside. I, just, I want to go down there and punch somebody right now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's frustrating. Good Lord. But, yeah, you know, live and learn. They're going to have to uh, – you can't let things like that happen. Um, but I'll tell you what, man, I've just – you know, if, if you're the Owls uh, – I'd just be very frustrated because you looking like you were going to win that point. Right. Um, able to, uh, to take out the uh, player in the 50-yard line snake, but just didn't have enough. Nope. Didn't well, have and, enough. And you know what? After this game, I'm going to have our on-field camera. After this next point, I have our on-field camera. I want to show you what the highway is mm -hmm. and what you see You know, af after this game. I, I want to show you because that was a perfect highway moment. The Kennesaw State guy with two guys, in, with, when that guy filled the snake, mm -hmm. Kennesaw could have... Jumped over in the highway, ran right down the highway, bunkered the snake guy, and then shot the back center guy without a problem. And they probably, you know, he could have done it with ease, you know. And, and that that's those are the moves you got to look for, you know. And once you see what I'm talking about, I'm sure most of you guys at home, if, if you played before, you know the highway is. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who haven't played, you know, by jumping inside like that, they don't really expect that. And it's and when they everybody starts screaming bloody murder, mm -hmm. you know, you don't, you never know what's going on. It's like what's going on. Usually, I just stand up at that point, yeah, and just start shooting just, everybody, just refs, look around, refs. Yeah. Wives, you know, just <laughs> people on the sidelines. Sidelines. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. Coaches, just start blasting everybody. Anything that moves. So seven minutes and fifteen seconds left to play here. You know, I, you know, I, I got to tell you, you know, Kennesaw making some good moves right now. You know, Billy making a move out here to the brick. You know, you see Kennesaw, Kennesaw losing one body. Florida Gators also losing one body. It's four on four, Maddie, right now. And you know, look look for the Florida Gators to make the move to the Doritos again. But with that guy at the tower for Kennesaw, I mean, they're going to be stuck right there. Yeah. So look at this. It's Florida. All their guns are on the snake side of the field. Uh, they're all looking towards the snake side of the field, well, trying to keep Kennesaw State out of snake one. They're doing a good job of it right now. They're trying to keep Billy out of the snake because he, he is pretty dominant in that snake. You know, um, if they can control, but Billy's got to put that tower in, which is. Uh, um, Irby. Irby is sitting right there. You put Irby in, you jump and jump the snake. There you go. He make that move. Now look for Irby to make the move to the brick because now he has to match and move. Yeah, there he goes. Makes the move into the brick. And he needs to get into the snake. And there's really... I'm trying to think who's stopping no, him. No, okay, nobody's, yeah, nobody's yeah. stopping him. Nobody's there he goes. Stopping. Nice job. And that's what we're talking about. If they're going to give it to you, take it. Oh, and then he immediately... It looks like he got a bouncer on the yellow temple. No, you know, he takes him out. Nice job by Irby in that crossfield shot, but he loses his back player out of the bunker of death in the back that corner. Is. Yeah, that spot sucks. I'm just going to say it. It's terrible. Oh, big move by the Florida Gators, the Fitch Dorito. You know, but uh, Kennesaw is actually not in a bad spot right now. They, they actually have pretty, they're pretty good field position for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, look for Irby to kind of shoot his, shoot his mirror in and get down the snake a little bit. Because right now he has no shots besides down the snake. He has to get up one more spot to shoot that back corner. Yeah, and the Irby should uh, try to make moves down the snake right here. I mean, he's getting shot at. And that's actually a good job of the Kennesaw State player in the back corner to actually back out, back off his bunker and get a shot. There we go. irby has he's got the telekinesis going on right now. Yeah, he does. You know, and once, once again, here, uh, here's another highway move. Yeah. This is a great, because the corner guy for Kennesaw State is not looking this way. You can jump inside and block him out with a brick and just run down the field. Um, and even if you don't take the highway, there's that can that's in the center of the, center of the Dorito. That's Kennesaw State on your screen right now, shooting towards the Dorito side of the field. And you're looking, that's the Dorito side right now. And that is his, you know, that's the 50-yard line Dorito. That is University of Florida. He's playing real tight in there, and he's trying to basically push into that bunker and get a shot on Snake 1, which you're looking at on your screen right now. And now, Snake 1, he's crouched low, and he's trying to do snapshot over the top of that bunker. He's got to be real careful, though, because the Dorito players definitely have a shot on him. And this is the back. That's Dorito 1 you were just looking at, and then you're back looking at Kennesaw State in Snake 1. So he's real low. You can see the top of that bunker, not very high. He's got to play real tight in there, Chris. Absolutely. You know, and, and now, now they're kind of crossed up a little bit. You know, but right now, uh, Kennesaw does not have the luxury of time right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they got to get up and make moves. 
slow point here. Four minutes and 15 seconds left. And at this point, if now you're the University of Florida, all you really have to do, time is not Kennesaw State's friend. No. So you want to, if you're if Florida, you want to take as much time off that clock as possible. So they're in really good spots right now. They're just crossed up, and they're just basically trying to keep the Owls from progressing down the field. They're doing a great job of it. They don't have a lot of bodies. They yeah, only have no. three bodies left alive for Kennesaw State. You know, three-on-three three situation. Florida State definitely has a better field position right now with that 50 Dorito. You know, and also that with that with the back Dorito there, you know, keeping uh, Billy from coming up the field. This is where coaching plays a huge part also. And how much paint you have. Yeah. There we go. Aggressive move that needed to be done. He runs out of bounds. I don't know if he was able to trade out. Looks like he's going to get wiped off. So I like the aggressive move, but I don't know why he would do that from the back bunker. Send your front guy. Yeah, absolutely. Why would yeah. you run 40 yards from the back corner bunker to try to run down in, in the open, too? And that's a mental mistake. I like the aggression, though. That was good. But send your front guy. And send him down the highway. Yeah. Highway is the inside part of the snake. Yep. Not, the, not the, on the sidelines, but inside towards the center of the field. You know, I think we're going to get a good look at this. After this point, you know, we're going get to get our camera guy in the field to kind of show you what you see from the highway. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's so effective. And I, th I think as, as the weekend goes on and, you know, you and I get down there and kind of help some of these teams out and kind of give them a little bit of direction. You know, Billy getting shot of the snake right there Just is going to help. owned right now. But he, was, he has to make something. He had to try to make something happen, you know? Oh, yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? You have to act. You definitely have to do it. But really good job. Florida, University of Florida, just handling business right now against Kennesaw State. You know, that was a long, drawn-out point. Um, you know, Spencer Lloyd right there from, uh, from Kennesaw State was holding it down in the corner out there. But at, at this point, you know. Yeah, at this point, if two minutes and 40 seconds left to go here, second half of this match. In case you just tuned in, you are watching Kennesaw State Owls, and they are taking on the Florida Gators. And I'll tell you what, man, Chris, uh, Florida just running away with this, and, and we need to see a little bit more of that aggression out of the Owls. They yeah. need to try to roll the dice, do something. They're pl they're playing decent. They're not playing bad. Yeah, they're bad. not playing bad. You'd think that this game actually would be closer, closer. Absolutely. than, than yeah. the point spread would dictate. But uh, but they're just not getting it done. No, they're not. You know, and, and it's, it's unfortunate because I, I think they have a lot more to offer. You know, you take a good look from Florida State. You're going to look at Thomas LaRue right there. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also a player from last year as well. You know, civil engineering major. He's a junior. Uh, you know, he's, he played last year. He, he impressed me last year as well. Um, and Irby's playing well. Yeah, dude, that's, they always played. I, I, I always like watching these guys play. You know, there's a couple guys out there without, um, without jerseys. You know, we'll go ahead and I, I did get, you know, Oliver screened at me earlier who they were, but I, I can't really hear him up here. So, I mean, all I heard was wah, 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 wah. Awesome. All right, so two minutes, 40 seconds left to go here. Directly after this match, we got the Pittsburgh Panthers, and they are taking on the Virginia Tech Hokies. Oliver Lang going to come up here for that one. Yes, you got give me a Oliver break. Lang, give your voice a break. Yes. When are you going to get your break? Later on. Yes. Go, go talk to some ears. All right, so here we go. Let's see. You're looking at Florida on your screen right now. See how the breakout, three guns up off the break to double up that back center. And you're looking at Kennesaw State trying to, that crazy move to get to the 50-yard line, Dorito. And it looks like he made it in alive. Wow. Nice move. See, and that, that's what we're talking about. Try new stuff. You're down points. We talked about this last game, Matty. Yep. Then there we go. Into snake one is Florida. And he's going to have a good shot, but he's got to be careful, though. Look at this. A 50-yard line, Dorito is just starting to tear up Florida. They lose player out of that stand-up temple. Both, you know, both teams with the player in the snake right now, Chris. Yep, I, and I, I think that, you know, obviously Kennesaw has the major advantage in this right here. Uh-huh. Um, I, I still want to see a highway move. <laughs> I want to see a highway move just on general principle. Oh, uh, there we go. Into snake. Oh, and he slides in wide. And what are you doing, yeah, retard? Yeah, that's not a, good, not a good move. You can't get into snake one, slide out wide. No. you got to slide in tight, especially when you have a guy watching... This, this, the sideline like that, just zoned up waiting for that. Kennesaw losing their 50 Dorito player, though. Um, that was a great move. And that's not a small kid either, man. That guy getting out there, he, he's, a, he's not small. I mean, for him to get there on the break is pretty impressive. Yeah, so minute and 20 seconds left remaining here in this game. University of Florida is going to take the victory. And 
Though, I'll tell you what, the Owls went out nobly. That was an awesome move on the Dorito side yeah. of the field. And highway. it looks like they could win this point. Yeah, they somebody, need, somebody oh. needs to run the highway right now. Come, would somebody please just get up and run the highway? Oh, nice job. And didn't even go out of bounds. I'm, looks like he might. Did he get shot across the field? No, he's still alive. Oh, and eats up another Kennesaw State player. What are you doing? They are just throwing their bodies away. And... What are you doing? Not really sure. The blue, the blue jersey, the there. blue jersey dude. Um, I'm not, I don't exactly know what his name is, but I'll get his name for you later. Great move, man. Yeah, I mean, coming man. out, coming out wide, being very aware of where the where the um, the out of bounds line was. You know, that was awesome. That was that was mental composure. We're talking about smart moves right there. Mm -hmm. You had uh, Florida, the uh, University of Florida player. He's in Snake One, and they have about. It's like five feet, basically, from the edge of that bunker to the sideline where the out-of-bounds is. And if you run past that line, obviously, you're out. You're eliminated. But you can use that to your advantage if you're not getting shot at, which he wasn't. He was able to run out just barely right on the tip of that sideline, roast down his mirror, the opposing player, Kennesaw State, roast that guy down, and then dives back in his bunker. And then the other owl player running cross field had no idea what was happening and ran right into his gun. Un unbelievable. Yeah. You know, and, and as, as a coach, you know, I've, I've, I, when I was out for that year with my knee injury, mm -hmm. you know, I coached a lot. If you're coaching, you don't need to look at your player. And they're, the coaches are staring at their player in the snake. Mm -hmm. When you're coaching, you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. You look at their players because you can tell by the other player's body language. If, you, if you're a good enough player, I know that's what that guy's going to do. Absolutely. So you tell, us, you tell your guy to take switch. And all you have to do is switch and you, and you take each other out. You know, um, so when, you know, for, if you're a coach out there you, or you're coaching... Pay attention to what they're doing, and don't pay attention to what your guy's doing. Just talk to your guy, and and you know work and watch what they're doing because yeah, I mean I, I would have seen that coming a mile away. Because that's the only way you get that information. You yeah. have to get that information somehow. And if you're staring at your guy while screaming at him, yeah, you don't necessarily need to do that. Right. You know you can be watching the rest of the field like you're saying hey, as you're yelling you at him. Got that's the coach on screen right now for University of Florida. Obviously, he gets a nice coaching voice you know getting a look at number five there from uh, from Florida I think that's Drew Haggard yep rather unfortunate name yeah yep you know but it has two G's it does so maybe that you know that is I don't really know what that means <laughs> I was like where is he going? I, 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 you know, I, 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 got, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I, I was going somewhere, but I don't know. Oliver! <laughs> no, Let's get Oliver up here. No, you're doing a great job, bud. I'm, I'm ready to pass out from heat exhaustion. All right. Yeah, it is starting to warm up a little it bit. Is. The breeze is kicking in, and you don't really always get the breeze here in Florida a lot of the time. It's just that swampy, uh, armpit-eating, yeah. nasty humidness. Yeah. Which just monkey, seeps it, into your monkey pores. Butt. It's like the monkey uh. Yeah. All right, so the score, 9-2. to two. Kennesaw State not getting enough production out of their aggressive players in this game. University of Florida, very dominant. But I'll tell you what, like we were saying, I, there was a lot of close points, but you gotta win the close. You got to win the close points, and Florida has been able to do that. Yeah, you know, but I, and again, man, I expect to see more out of Kennesaw next game. I really do. Yeah, I do too. This is one of those things like, look, go back, figure out what wasn't working. Okay, look, we're getting shot out of our bunkers. Can't let that happen. Um, but it was that was the biggest thing. They're getting those good breaks, or they're getting the good uh, the beginning of the of the match, the beginning of the points is strong for them. But it's those it's that second act that they're they're failing at. They're getting too many guys shot off the break, and also they're not making they're getting beat to the punch in the aggressive moves. You have to exert your will on the other team. You have to be making the moves. You're the one making those aggressive moves, and then you're letting. Uh, or, and you shouldn't be letting the other team impress their will upon you. You make the moves, moves first. You act, let them react. And that's how you should properly be playing paintball. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't always work that way. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that they have ADD. Uh, I, I mean, I just watch them, and they, they get bored real quickly. And I think that's what's costing them some of these moves. Just go down there and sprinkle some midland in their, uh, yeah. in their water. Yeah. All right, so on the breakout. Nice move by Kennesaw. Going to the 50 Dorito and, and the, the Snake 200. Snake. A little bit too little too late, though. Nice job by them to do that. And they able, yeah, taking out one of the University of Florida players. But you're going to send look at Florida right now. One from both teams coming off. But you know, all, all Florida has to do is just gun up and roll the guns and... 
they're going to win this game. They just gotta, it's, it's, Kennesaw just got to get up. Over. Just get up and go put it on somebody. I mean, there's nothing There's nothing stopping this snake guy right here. You know, they have two in the snake now. Now, this guy's a snake three. There's no reason for him to look down the tape. And why have they not been doing this the whole game? But that's what you start asking yourself. You're like, look, why? I don't understand why we haven't been doing yep. this. And so, but it does bode well as we see the end of regulation. Yeah, so, I mean, it, I think it bodes well for, for, uh, for Kennesaw State, though, um, as they progress in this event when they have the ability to come out down bodies, aggressively pushing up the field, making moves, and able to get in the snake, get to the 50-yard line Dorito, and do what they got to do to try to win that point. They weren't able to win the point, but it looked good. <laughs> it, did, it did look good. Black and yellow, black and yellow. It did look very, very good. So that is going to do it here. Kennesaw State losing to the University of Florida. Next up, we have the Pittsburgh Panthers. They are taking on the Virginia Tech Hokies. I'm Matty Marshall. have Chris Lasoy up here. He's going to be taking a break. We've got Oliver Lang coming up. But first, we have the third member of our broadcast team, Laura McKeeman. She is down in the pits. I'm about to get uh, James Sutton, who is a senior forward. So Yeah, we have Laura. She's coming down there. She will be getting us uh, some of the information from the teams. But again, coming up next, Pittsburgh Panthers taking on Virginia Tech Hokies. And I'm expecting the Pittsburgh Panthers last year, they came out pretty strong. Um, definitely going to be interested to see what they have to bring to the table. And we're watching this field play out pretty interesting so far. A lot of action on both sides of the field as we have the Snake and the Dorito sides both being utilized to the full extent. But I'll tell you what, I'm looking for more teams to make moves up in that center as we progress through uh, through this event and uh, not really being utilized a lot Chris like you were saying yeah you know, that, that center definitely needs to uh, to be utilized a little bit more you can get up there I, I, I don't think we've seen anyone who has attempted to get up in there get shot yet at least off the break no it, it's, it's a hard shot because there's so much stuff in the way um, it is possible if you're looking for it um, but I, I just don't see them looking for it to be honest with you so you yeah, know, I don't see it either. And they, they need to be looking for that. They need to be actively trying I don't know, to make that move and actively thinking about, and okay, well, and another thing they need is they have to be watching these other games. I'm pretty sure that they're actually, uh, you know, they should be out here scouting these teams, watching their tendencies, seeing what they do, seeing what's working, seeing what's not working. And I'll tell you what, it seems like that move has worked so far. So all we really need to do is, or all they need to do is just really focus on trying to figure out um, the run, the initial run up to those middle bunkers. You know, definitely keep an eye out for Cameron Derzak. All right, so we have third member of our broadcast team, Laura McKeeman. She is down with James Sutton from the University of Florida. Let's check it out. All right, James, so you guys were really, really dominating the Doritos side of the field. Just talk about what you were doing over there. Well, uh, you know, we were putting a couple guns on the break over there, and uh, we got lucky we were able to hit them. Okay, you guys were up 6-2 over Kennesaw State. Pretty dominant lead there, but you were still telling your guys, keep firing, keep shooting. What, why were you keeping them encouraged like that? Well, once you get up and once you start winning games, it's real important not to uh, get real comfortable and then come off your game. So you've got to keep playing the way you were. Okay, you've got some, some senior leadership. You've been around a while doing this for a long time. You guys have played this course a lot because you're local in Florida. Talk about the advantage that maybe you feel you had. Well... We we play the same or we get the same amount of time to play the layout as the other college teams, but we feel a bit more comfortable since we practice here all the time. Okay, and then just talk about this going down the stretch in this tournament. You guys don't have maybe the deepest team, but you've obviously got a lot of aggressiveness on your side. Um, it's just our first game. Uh, we got lucky; we were able to win by a large margin, but we still got a lot a lot of paintball to play. All right. Well, good luck and congratulations. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, so there it was, James Sutton breaking it down on their victory. Again, next up, we have the Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the Virginia Tech Hokies. And I'm Matty Marshall, Chris Lasoy up here. Chris is going to be taking a break. Got Oliver Lang coming at you next, but first, a few words from our sponsors. What's to do with Empire Paintballs? You can paint a picture. You can paint a fence. You can paint your friend. But know that the paint will not remain. An Empire Paintball strives to reduce the impact of paintballs on the environment. Our RPS Advanced Formula Fill Materials are all listed on the GRAS, Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act list and will not negatively affect drinking water, water table, or the field environment. 
shoot the best and know that Empire Paintball works hard to protect our planet.